Hey everyone, Eric here, back with Chicago Bears Daily. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Um, recently, uh, there's been a few Bears players out there, namely David Montgomery and Darnell Mooney, and they've been praising Coach Eberflus on simply being a head coach. And what that basically means is he is the organizer of the team. He's not in there trying to take over the offense, take over the defense, take over the special teams. Eberflus out there from the descriptions of the players that have come out and talked about him, um, he's he's making essentially a schedule for the team and he's letting the offensive coordinators, he's letting the defensive coordinators and he's letting uh, the positions coaches, he's letting these guys actually go in there and do their jobs. Now, this sounds very basic, like this should be a standard and I was kind of thinking, it's kind of funny how low our standards are for something to talk about and get excited about. But if you think about our last regime here, the, uh, Matt Nagy, he really, really, really thought that he was an offensive guru. It really got to him. And he, every, the whole saying is his ego just way overinflated. And so he, he wouldn't let the offensive coordinator do his job. He wouldn't let the wide receivers coach do his job. He had to dabble. He didn't just dabble in the offense. He took it over. And even when it wasn't working, he kept going. And it was a fail after a fail. Once he was figured out, it just was, it looked ugly. Now, Eberflus is taking an entirely different approach. And to me, that's exciting. That's an exciting thing because you see the coach, the head coach is supposed to make sure that these coaches are doing their jobs. Now, a coach can't really a head coach can't really make sure that a defensive coordinator or an offensive coordinator is doing their jobs if he's so engulfed in the in what is going on. And what I mean by that is if he is trying to take over the offensive scheme and he's trying essentially trying to be an offensive coordinator, He's going to he's going to lose sight of some defense and some of those players some of those coaches might think like our head coach he's more focused on offense and what's what's the deal with that and that that it could very well be why, another reason why the past regime mostly failed after that 2018 season. Now Iberflus he's making sure that everybody is doing their job. He's the overseer. He's the guy in the back office making in the back room making sure that Okay, offense, these guys are going to run routes today and they're going to get together and do a scrimmage. And the, he's, he's making sure he's, he's taking a little bit of a step back and he's letting these guys kind of, because he's letting these guys more so just take, advantage, take control of what they think. And he's, got, he's giving these guys a chance to kind of do what they feel is right for the team and He's letting them use their a little bit of creativity on both sides of the ball and I'm assuming on special teams as well. So for two offensive guys to come out here and say that they really, really like the new what what Eberflus is doing, and it's it's interesting because from an outsider from a non player's perspective, it looks like the head coach is almost taking a step back. But that's not necessarily the case. It looks like he's taking a step back, but He's taking a step back so he can gain a broader, a more, a broader picture of the team. And he's able to take a step back and look through clear glasses at where deficiencies are in, in both the coaching and the players. The job of a head coach is to evaluate the talent of both the players and the coaches. So if he's, if he's taking a step back and he's not the guy that's getting so involved and he's not the guy that is trying to push his own agenda, then then he can really get a feel for the talent uh, on the field and the talent that is kind of directing the guys on the field. So it's exciting to see two offensive guys get very excited about the fact that he's taking a step back because I've been hearing things that the, the offense is obviously going to take a step forward from last year. It's hard to, it's hard to go anywhere but up after last year's performance. Um, so the, to the, these guys, what excites me is that they're coming out and they're talking all these great things about Iberflus. And I get that they're supposed to. He's their head coach, but that's also another side of it. He has, 
he has their respect. They obviously want to play hard for him. And the goal for him in this first couple of years is to do the right things, make sure that everything stays organized and just essentially ins ensure that everything kind of stays on schedule. And he is the guy that it all boils down to. So he has to make sure it's organized. He's looking at he's looking at the team from all different corners, trying to smooth out the rough edges. And that's that's going to be an exciting thing to watch going forward, going into training camp, going into preseason. It's going to be an exciting thing to see. Um, if you agree, if you feel like Iberflu so far, we haven't seen anything in game, but if you feel like from what you've heard so far is the only good things, um, feel free to leave a like or a comment. If you feel otherwise, if you don't like Iberflu's coming in, he's changing things up. Um, I, I know a lot of people aren't liking the fact that he's coming in with a 3-4 defense, uh, primary cover 2 defense. Um, feel free to drop a comment, start a discussion in the comments. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will be back in the next video with more Bears Talk.